In the 1950s, um, French-speaking African countries' intellectuals had already started a journal that um, captured a lot of what was happening in French-speaking Africa, titled Afrique Noir. That gave Olibaya the idea of creating an anglicized version of that kind of journal that will help document what was happening in Anglophone African countries. So in 1957, Olibaya became the founder of Black Orpheus, and the idea was to capture this creativity. Black Orpheus was a success because Olibaya had this network of relationship around the globe at the time. He was also connected to AMSAC, the American Society for Arts and Culture. So, you know, this network was how the journal spread. And you know what happens with um, the appearance of a new journal in the market is that artists or creative people saw it, picked it up, and looked for any means possible to participate in what was going on. So that was how Black Ophir spread.